was just going to cover the street. Uh, the street. No, no, street. No, no, street. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so, so let's start at 10 3, and if you don't know where 10 3 is, that's by uh, the men in black between that and Fear Factor, and that's House of a Thousand Corpses. And that is dirty, disgusting, smelly, oily, nasty. It's the film. Uh, it's like, seems to all the characters are there. Uh, and so we most definitely are not going soft. <laughs> it's like a very intense uh, run. And if you've been through 10 3 in the past, uh, for some odd reason, you know, we had Vortex Tunnel or different things like that. It seemed a little shorter. This one's like really long, like a very long uh, trek through there uh, and very tight corridors. Um, and then in Shrek, uh, we have Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And <laughs> yes, woo! Yeah. Um, it was so much fun last uh, last year in the streets, man. It was awesome. And did, how many of you were out there in the streets with Kevin Clark? Yeah. Yeah. So it was it was so much fun. It was this big party, and then they, they were getting some scares in there too. But it was like that fun interactive thing. And so what we did is we we saw the ice cream truck out there uh, in front of the Brown Derby, and then we still have picture opportunities out there, photo opportunities. But then and that's just to let your guard down, right? You still have. Oh, it's not a we're walking, and then they all attack you in these tight corridors uh, inside. So you're, a lot of times we do uh, chronological order. This time we're doing things by scenic order. So everything that takes place in the street, all the street moments are one scene. All the residential moments are one scene. All the uh, like the spaceship, or yeah, spaceship, tent, yeah, we're going to those pies, boys, all that's in there. Um, I was at Sunday, I couldn't get it last year, but I'm glad you got it. Yes. <laughs> And it don't don't eat it because it's it's not real. Um, <laughs> found that out the hard way. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then we let's go to the backside, which is really strong this year. You know, it's, I I feel like I was kind of watching. You, you kind of watch the guests as they go through, like which direction they go. I feel a lot of people are being pulled to that side. Uh, actually, first because uh, there's so much strong content over there in the tents. Um, Patrick Brailer. And I kind of split that house design between the two of us uh, with concept with the, the scenic team. And uh, so he has Blood Pit, Nightingale's Blood Pit in tent one. And I think it was what, 2011? Was the Nightingale's yes, first the time. It was, it was real popular. And then we were like, oh, we got this Glad Ears. <laughs> it's like uh, peanut butter jelly. It was like, Glad Ears and Nightingale's. There we go. All right. So uh, it's very, very bloody, very, very smelly. And uh, it takes place in the hippogeum underneath. Uh, Gladiator arena, so history nerds. nerds. Yeah. Yeah. Again, history yeah. nerds. Like, oh, we don't want to do that. Um, tent two is uh, Depths of Fear, and that has a really fun lead up video. So uh, when you walk in, it's basically it's telling you that you, as the guests or the rescue team, to go down there deep in the ocean and rescue these people who are in the mining facility. And he's basically saying, don't send the team. Don't send the team. Too late. Then, we sent the team. Yeah, we sent the team. That's you guys. And then they're like, oh, the creature's loose. It's killing everyone. Don't send the team. And then the uh, uh, surface level is like, and we're going to blow up the facility so the creature doesn't get out. And then, sorry, then, then, you, then you walk in. So we set you up for success. Uh, so not only do you have to contend with this massive creature, also, the, uh, it's a mouth breeder, so it spews eggs, which has acid in it, so it hits you, and they hit you, and then the eggs start eating your flesh, and then they grow, and they sprout these little adolescent baby eel-like eggs, uh, or creatures, so they're after you, and the massive creatures after you, and on top of the whole thing, the hosts that have the eggs are driven insane, and they're looking for more flesh to eat, to feed the babies, so that's you guys. Um, and it's coming after you, so, so be delicious. Um, and, then, and then the hosts are after you. And then on top of all, we have four minutes to get through before the whole place explodes. So it's a very intense, very fun tent. Hey, attention, there's a lot of story in there. <laughs> Did these two cameo in? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stuff that you Patrick Burke really 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 in half. I think he does. Yeah, he yeah. does. Because um, we love it. So is my dog. So is your dog. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, this is just going to be a dog. Oh, 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 I think everybody here has been here already. All right, fine. And there were like seven people here. Uh, don't forget. Yeah. We take everybody out. Everybody. It's like those uh, late 80s movies, like, uh, what was it, Deep Star Six, Leviathan, all those ones were kind of like, oh, yeah, I love those kind of movies. Or they just keep knocking off everybody. <laughs> Who survives? No, nobody. nobody. <laughs> Not even you. Um, and then we go over to 108, which is Universal Monsters. 
Now, there's a very big distinction there. It's not classic monsters. Right, no, it's no, universal no. monsters. We invent them, the, 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 and those characters are a part of our history. And so we redesigned a lot of the looks. And I have to say the Frankenstein's the best it has ever looked at, in my opinion. It is. It, it does look like a reanimated corpse. Parts of it are missing. You see parts of the jaw and its teeth. It looks very ferocious. Uh, all the characters are great. And we got the Gill Man. Come on, Preacher from the Black. Yeah, that's where I nerded out. I'm like, where did we get that guy? All right, so it's really cool. It's, it's an amazing, um, your team did an amazing job. Oh, the house, man. That's awesome. Uh, B79 is Graveyard Games. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know, Social dropped a, uh, it's a, a Facebook Messenger app. Check out the, uh, the UO, HHN Orlando on the Twitters or the social, um, you can click on that and it should send you to, it's kind of like a uh, uh, chatbot type thing where you can go through and then you can talk to the grandfather or the kid and just find out different, different all the backstory. I wrote like a little short story and like, you know, super nerd, like, oh, there's lots of backstories for like all the different people buried in there and there, what happened to them, how they ended up there, the curses, all the different things in there. So it's a lot of fun. The glowing mother comes to life to protect the cemetery, which takes place in Ascension uh, Parish, Louisiana, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's Nick Collins, the designer of the house, says it's, it's Halloween comfort food. Yes, it's exactly what you want around a Halloween uh, event. Absolutely, it just feels right. <laughs> it feels right. It's delicious. Uh, but it is really gorgeous in there. The decor team did an amazing job. It's amazing what Spanish moss can do. Um, so it, that, that, that's been really good. And the performers in there, when you go through, you get, just applaud them because they are acting like it's week four. Like you can tell from the first day to like mid run, you can see how the performers are acting to their triggers. And I think we got a lot of vets in there or something because right off the bat, they're like, Hey, like, oh gosh, <laughs> no, that's for you. You're going to scare me. Um, and then we make our way over to sound stages, and we have uh, the our last original, which is Jenny Terra the Yukon, and we got some big fellas in there. Um, uh, little funny stories. Mike Allo does not get scared usually. Not most of us don't. Because we, oh, okay, we, we, he got scared four times. <laughs> four times. It was awesome. Little surprises around every corner. Around every corner. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun in there. And there's some little Easter egg kind of comedy things happening there too, which is a lot of fun. Um, and then we have us, Jordan Peele's us. And this is a bit of an experiment because really, instead of, you know, you, you boo and skidoo and jump out and get you, there's a lot of pops, but it really is walking through the movie. It's walking through the choreography of the movie in a lot of ways. Um, and it, I think it's being well received in that way. I think people are like, oh, it's like walking through the play. You know, if, was, if we were doing a play, you were actually walking in the middle of scenes on a play. So don't really go out there and do that. But uh, yeah. we sent uh, part of our, our cast through uh, that weren't from that house, obviously, to experience it as they all walk out. They're like, okay, <laughs> that works. Yeah. That works. And I think that's a testament that there is different types of fear, fear out there. You know what I mean? It's not just always. Yeah, you know, there's just that creep factor. It's fun that we can bring the creep factor to suspense. Suspense, yeah. that kind of thing. Like, oh, this is, this is awesome. This is really fun. The soundtrack for that movie is so good. Yes. Yeah. And then throughout the whole way, it's like, oh, this is just put you on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then we go to. Sorry. It's late. Is it? Is um, it? So then we go to. Uh, we went out for like, you know, 48 hours. Uh, so then we go to. Uh, uh, Ghostbusters, which mm -hmm. is our love. Yeah. Man, I mean, we talked about that for years. We yeah. did, and in all different types of ways of representing it too. And it's absolutely. And we still, when we found out we, we could do it. We're still like, can we? Um, so if you guys have questions, I'll talk to you deep because uh, if you guys have questions, we can answer those. But it is our love letter to that movie. Um, we just love it. Stranger Things, season two and three. Mm -hmm. It's long, it is a long house, and what I love about it is for those of you who come night after night, you're all annual pass holders, you, you come a lot, and 
to this event and you like you have that rhythm like you know when scene tens there so you know you kind of get that rhythm like yeah the house should be done there's people halfway through the they like is it done yet <laughs> <laughs> so like, like, nope, no, 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 a lot more to go buddy so season two and three and it gives us a wide variety of characters too you can kind of see you know, Hopper in different looks and Eleven in different looks and all the fun characters. And we created uh, the largest puppet we've ever created. It's big. It's huge. <laughs> huge. And that's all I'm saying. So, that's all the houses, right? That's all, all, all ten? All ten. All ten. Awesome. Let's talk about pizza.